The Children's Food Trust is a national charity on a mission to get every child eating well. When children eat better, they do better. With a healthy diet and practical cooking skills, their relationship with food can get off to a great start. By helping children eat better today, we're creating the healthier adults of tomorrow. But in the busy and sometimes challenging lives of carers and children in their care, food, cooking and eating together can often be difficult. Most of the children um, that I've had um, in my care, um, they've, they've not, they've, there's been nothing being cooked in their kitchens. Uh, they don't know anything about food, about preparation of foods, uh, about, uh, you know, about hygiene, um, how long foods cook for, what different foods there are. Um, they don't have very much experience at all. Some children in care have never experienced a home-cooked family meal. They've never seen someone cook a meal from scratch, let alone cooked anything for themselves. We had one girl where, when she came into care, the very next day at tea time, and she sat down at the table with the foster carers and she had a knife and fork out, and she said, right, who's, who's going to order it then? And the carers said, what, what? Who's going to phone up and order it then? And what we realised is she'd only ever had takeaway food and um, that's what her parents brought her up on. So she, her experience of eating was that you ordered a takeaway meal. So that was a huge learning experience for her. She really expected her food to be delivered by somebody on a motorbike. Carers tell us that for some children, every day has been a battle just to find enough food to survive. They just always meant to stick to what they know, which was crisps and biscuits. And anybody that did think that they were cooking for themselves would have been getting a slice of bread out and putting some crisps on it, and they think that that's, you know, it's survival, isn't it? They've had to do what they've had to do to stay alive, or feed their younger siblings. You know, you've got to give some of them a pat on the back because they've kept their younger siblings alive by giving them bread and crisps. But with the money you raise, the story can be so different. We're training carers to give them the skills and confidence to cook healthy meals with the children in their care. We're thrilled that you've chosen us as one of your charities of the year. With your help, children in care will have the chance to learn to cook. The skills they'll learn will boost confidence and self-esteem and set them on the road to independence. It's had a, a, a brilliant impact because you know, the, 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 you know, the sort of getting in there, you know, full preparation, trying different things, helping cooking, and these are life skills that they need to take on into their life. Well, the other person that I had, he, he particularly didn't like vegetables, um, but once he started preparing them himself, he was eating them raw, which was really good, while he preparing them, and uh, because he'd actually had hands on with cooking them as well, um, it changes all that look really about you know, the vegetables and they would eat things that you would never eat before. In some cases, the turnaround is simply amazing, like the young girl who expected meals to be delivered on a motorbike. She became one of our leading cooks. She adored once she realised what fresh vegetables looked like and she was so fired up. And she actually ended up uh, leading a barbecue that we had. She was fantastic. When we first got to know her, she was nine. She's about 15, 16 now. Loves cooking, really loves cooking. Kobe was just one of the young people who was inspired to carry on cooking. I wasn't a massive fan of cooking. I, I didn't really like doing it myself. But when I did done the Let's Get Cooking, and I picked up my confidence of doing it. It's, it's like a really big passion of mine now. Something I really enjoy doing. So I've been doing work experience from it. Um, I've cooked like a roast dinner and that. I've done like a, a, like a full brown roast chicken. I cooked all like the vegetables like peas, carrots and potatoes and that all on my own. It's like the first time I cooked for like my family and friends. I found it really nerve wracking because it was, it was like such a big dinner to go. But what, one, once I've done it and I do something I really wanted to do, like cook for my family, and I, I, that was a, probably the biggest achievement for me. 
you know, some of our young people wouldn't know how to make toast or scrambled eggs. Something that appears quite simple to some people isn't. So I think in terms of being able to take care of themselves independently and not rely on ready meals and microwaves, they know, yeah, I can do this. It's not just about the food, it's actually working alongside a young person cooking. You can have some brilliant conversations when you're cooking. But I think eating meals together, cooking, is actually just great for relationships. Um, and our carers realise that actually, as busy as they are, it really doesn't take that long to give 10 or 15 minutes to just cook up something quite simple. Cooking and eating a meal together is about so much more than just sharing food. Every day we see children's lives transformed simply by spending time cooking with adults and other children. The social skills and confidence they develop through budgeting, planning, food shopping and learning to cook will stay with them for the rest of their lives.